Hey everybody, welcome to LessonsWithTroy.com. I'm Troy Bruning Meyer. Well, I wanted to do a quick gear demo of a new slide that I got for pedal steel. It's made by Basil Hendricks over in England, and he's calling it the Easy Slide. And I really like it. Let me show you first what it, what it comes in. It comes in this wooden box, looks like a little treasure chest. And then you open it up, and he's got it in this cool pouch. I believe there's a couple choices for a pouch. I'll go over to the website in just a little bit, and there should be a link in the bottom of this video, uh, in the description of this video, that is, for where to, uh, to, where to pick you up one of these. So open up the pouch. And uh, here's what it looks like. And I'll read, you know, the information in just a second off his site, but it has this, this uh, polymer coating that makes it really slick. It feels great in the hand. And I wanted to show you what I normally use for pedal steel, too. I just got this one, this Dunlop bar off Amazon. And I can tell right off the, you know, right from just holding them, um, the, the difference in temperature and also slickness, too. It seems like uh, this, my, this steel bar here uh, feels a little bit more slick than this one. Now, I, got, I did get a little bit different size here than the bar that I was using. This one's a little wider and just a little longer. When I go over to the website in just a second, I'll show you the, the exact dimensions. But um, I really like this bar. It feels great in the hand. This part, this end part, is real smooth when I hold it the way I, I hold the bar in it and it goes into my hand here. I think it feels better than the end part of this bar. But what I like the most about it is it just feels, I don't know if it's the, the coating or the fact that it's a little bit bigger, um, it feels a little bit more stable in my hand, not like it's going to slip out as much as, as this one. Okay, let's go over to the website and I'll show you just exactly which bar I got. But this is what it looks like. Okay, here's what his website looks like, and I'd suggest you just Google this. Uh, make sure you spell it E-Z-Z-E-E -E -E, slide steel guitar bar. His website address is pretty long, so um, click that link in the description of this YouTube video too. That'll get you there quick. Um, okay, so here's what his description says. Let me just go ahead and read this. Work hardening, high density DuPont type polymer with a precision insert balanced with a special core. Lifetime return placement guarantee. And as I showed you before, it's presented in a velvet bag inside an engraved wooden treasure chest with an extra bag for picks as well. So I didn't show you that, but yeah, it does come with a, a black velvet bag where you can put your picks. Available in black or white and popular links with diameters of 3 fourths of an inch, 7 eighths inch, 15 sixteenths inch, which that's the one that I got, and 1 inch. And let me just scroll down here and show you the one that I got. Now, keep in mind, I got this for pedal steel, not so much for lap steel. So it is a little bit longer and, and bigger, you know, which works great for pedal steel. But I might have got a smaller one um, if I was just going to use it for lap steel. So 15 16 inch Huey style 10 string. And that goes over the size and the, the weight and all that and the price. Uh, keep in mind... Um, You'll have to figure up shipping and all that. Um, so that's so. Anyway, just go to the site. Depending on you know when I recorded this video and, and the price, this is the price when I recorded this video at least. Okay, let's flip back over and I'll show you um, what this sounds like and feels like on my pedal steel. Okay, so like I said at the beginning, uh, one of the main differences between this bar and my old bar is the size, how it feels in my hand. Um, this one is a little bit wider, a little bit longer, and just, just feels better in my hand. The, the other thing is, is just, it just feels a little bit more, I don't want to say sticky, but it, it doesn't feel as slippery as this bar as far as to the hand. Now, how it reacts to the strings, let me see here. Yeah, definitely, definitely, uh, more slippery on the strings. Feels like there's not as much uh, friction 
as with the stainless steel bar. Granted, I've had this stainless steel one for a while, so I'm sure there's some imperfections with it. Now, I'm not getting rid of this stainless steel one. It's just not going to be my, my number one bar, I think. I'm going to really give this one a try. It just feels really comfortable in my hand. And, uh, you know, the, the bigger bar just, just, just feels better. I am kind of getting used to the, you know, with a bigger bar, my intonation um, is, is a little bit different as far as, you know, trying to eyeball where it was because it is a different size. So I'm trying to get used to that size. It shouldn't take me too long to, to adjust to that. Um, and as far as the weight of both of them, let me see here. I'm not really sure. It's almost, I almost feel like this one maybe is a little lighter feeling in the hand. It definitely feels like, um, just doesn't feel as, as slippery as this one. This one definitely feels like it could sometimes slide out of my hand, I guess maybe because it's smaller too, you know. But this one, the way that I hold the bar, which I don't know, necessarily know if it's the best way to hold it, you know, I kind of put my index finger a little bit more to the right. I know most people put it right over the bar. And I guess I could do that with this. This one does feel a little bit easier when I put that finger right over the top. It just feels a lot more comfortable than the stainless steel did. And I'll see if you can tell any difference in tone. So here's the stainless steel. slide. It's hard to pick them exactly the same, so that might be what you're hearing too. But it definitely is, a, is an improvement in the, uh, the less friction on the strings. Now, on his uh, Facebook group, I did see where somebody was playing this, possibly with rusty strings. Um, so I don't know as far as the... I don't want to be dropping this on concrete or, or anything, you know, to, to mess up the smoothness of it because it's so smooth. So I'm really going to take care of this and... and yeah, so I'm not going to be dropping this on the pavement anytime soon. I'll keep this one as a backup in case that does happen. You know, I, I don't know the durability. I don't really want to put this to the test, you know, especially for the price, you know. But I do like the way it feels. Definitely feels like it's not going to slip out of my hand at all. It feels really stable. And I love that bigger size, too, where that hits in my... Right there, just that the way he curves that too. If you can see that, it just feels so much better than, than this Dunlop. That's a, a little bit sharper of a, if you can see, sharper of an angle, it seems like right there. Let me do some slidey tests, see if you can hear this. And I'll put my mic down to where you can kind of hear. Let's see here. There's the stainless steel. The easy slide. Yeah, def definitely more slip slippery on the strings, that's for sure, but not slippery in your hands, and that's the cool thing about it. So anyways, hope you enjoyed that. Check out the website, and uh, be sure to go over to LessonsWithTroy.com if you want to learn more about pedal steel or lap steel, dobro, wisenborn, all kinds of slidey instruments. Okay, we'll see you on the next lesson. Talk to you later. Bye.